Welcome back. We have the city's environmental educator joining us on the show, Jamie Garbett. It's great to have you back. Great. Right. Thanks for having yeah. me. Yeah. We're talking a little bit about the fact that we are in a drought situation when it comes to water supply. For example, last night, Jamie, 70% chance of showers is what I called for. I don't think we saw any. Um, and when they say 70, it's usually a sure thing. So it just goes <laughs> to show we're not seeing the rainfall that uh, we, we need right now. And of course, it's August, but we're not where we should be. No, we're not. Um, and right now the provincial government has deemed the location in a level four drought situation. So that means that there's really dry conditions and the, the water level is really low. So it is having an impact on our fish and all the ecosystems that rely on the water. So it just need, means that we really need to start um, increasing our water conservation efforts. So um, many of us know that throughout the province they are already at level four drought. Mm -hmm. um, and those areas have a different situation than us. Uh, they have reservoirs that fill up in the winter months um, and then once it's gone they need to wait until the river or until the winter for it to, to fill up again whereas we have a robust um, supply where it just goes by us so um, but seeing as though the, our, our river levels are at a record low we do need to amp up the the conservation um, efforts and as a city we're going to be doing that soon so and we're just encouraging all residents to do that as well and it's something we do year-round but we encourage people again um, you know, don't use your toilet as a garbage can, make sure you're taking uh, short showers, have a low flow shower head affixed to the shower head there. Um, and these are something that we can hook you up with as well. If you do need some aerators, we hand them out at, at um, home shows and mm -hmm. the EcoSmart team hands them out throughout the summer. So really make an effort. Um, with your lawn, because outdoor irrigation is a huge water consumer, start cutting back. So if you water your lawn for an hour, cut back to 40 minutes so that we can just save some more water because it is having an impact on our fish. And it's not good, right? No. We need water to survive, so we don't want to um, run out of it, right? And, and like destroy habitat. Exactly. And what, like you said, it's not just us that need the water, but I know fish are stressed right now as well because the water is warmer than it should be because there isn't enough of it. Exactly. So it's impacting not just us, it's impacting our environment and the things that we rely on. Um, tell me this, being stage four, is there anything else that we should sort of know that has changed from what it would normally be? Um, it, it's just, it's getting to be to the point where it's getting critical, right? Yeah, like after yeah. stage four, it's loss of supply. So it's something that, uh, that's the tier that the, the provincial government has set out. So we're really encouraging people to really um, conserve as much as they can. Okay. So, you know, if you don't, if there's a lawn area where you don't walk on it, why are you watering it? It's just a waste of your time. Uh, one thing that really kind of bothers me in this community is it'll be raining out and people will be watering while it's raining out. I know. So turn I see that too. <laughs> the system off, right? Yes. Save yourself money. We are doing fairly good now that we have water meters in place. We have noticed a significant um, decline in water usage. So now that you put that monetary value associated with it, people are making the effort. We are working towards that, but we just want to encourage people to work a little bit harder and just save a little bit more, right? We Absolutely. need to protect our fish. So. Even little things like turning off the tap when you're brushing your teeth. I know That's people so out there that don't do, do it. Yeah. They don't and they should be. Yes, right? they Easy. should. Yes. And if you need, like we do hand out some um, shower timers because people don't really know how long they're showering for. So um, come see me and I will, I will hook you up with a free shower timer and then you can kind of keep track of... Uh, you know, the, the amount of water that you're using. That's also going to save you money, too, on your water bill as well as on your hot water bill as well. Mm. So it's, it's in everybody's best interest. Awesome. All right, Jamie Garbett, City's Environmental Educator. Great tips today. You can go to camels.ca if you'd like to learn more. We have to be smart about our water usage. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, you're very welcome. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we are testing out some craft beer. Stay with us.